Welcome to this video on the Netfort Langardian OVA Deployment Wizard. My name is Dara Delaney from Netfort. So I've downloaded my Langardian OVA Deployment Wizard and I've unzipped the file. You should see uh, three files within it. A README, a large OVA file and the application itself. So we double click on the application and let's step through it. So we just accept the license agreement, click on next put in the IP address of my ESX server, username and password. This needs to be able to um, have the rights to deploy an OVA or a virtual machine. Just check the password. It looks good. Click on next. You need to select a resource pool on your, OVA, on your ESX server. I just have the one. Select a data store. I give Langardian IP. Mask. Actually change that IP there. Submit mask. In the gateway. Select whatever V switch you want the system to monitor. I just, well, I actually have two. I'm going to choose vSwitch 0. Double check your settings. Click Next. And then upload the OVA. So this step here takes a couple of minutes. Um, just leave it running. You will see the uh, it's kind of a blue bar starting to fill here. Okay, it takes a couple of minutes. Just need to be patient with it. Um, what's happening is it will upload the OVA. Uh, pre-configured with your settings and booted up and you're basically ready to go then. So the deployment is now finished. i uh, got my pop-up message here saying it's available at this IP. You click on OK. Finish. You do need to go to your browser, pull in the IP which you've assigned and you complete the final part of the wizard. So we can agree to license terms Next, double check the network settings again. Click OK. If you want to get email reports in the system, now is the time to configure your from to address an SNTP server. Double check the time, which looks OK. I synchronize mine with an NTP server. I need to set a GUI password. If you want to get usernames, now is the time to set up AD. You need a username password with rights to read the event logs and IP address of a domain controller. I'm going to bypass it for the moment. Let's click Next. Uh, we have one sensor automatically configured. It's up and running and press Finish. Then log on and that's it, you're deployed. You need to leave Galang Guardian running for a few minutes before you see results. I've just got this running for maybe about a minute. Got some results already come in. So I got mostly HTTP traffic in this network. And you can click on the segment here and start to drill down. You can see what IP addresses and keep drilling down. You can also start to run reports at the top. Click on a report and take a look and see what's happening on your network. Or click across the different dashboards. We do have a range of videos on our YouTube channel, which explain a lot more about how to use reports and how to customize reports. But I've got my OVA, my Langardian deployed. It's up and running. So that's all you need to do to get a forensic system deployed on your ESX environment.